Hello my loves, I hope everyone is doing well. Today in this review I'm gonna be talking to you about this beautiful handbag here. It's the Grace by APC. I don't know if you have ever heard about it. I actually have been looking for a review on this bag in so long it could not find so I decided to make my own because why not? Did you know that when I started this channel I actually talked mostly about handbags and not really clothing but then things change. I fell in, fell love, in love with, love, a, certain with a certain brand, brand, brand. if you know what, you I'm, know talking what I'm talking about. about. I have been looking for this bag because I got the Cezanne Mini Milo and I love this so much. I felt like I wore this so much more than I actually planned and I actually expected I would that I decided to add another bag to my collection and then I checked for APC and I saw this one on sale from the Essence website. I don't know if you ever bought from them, but I have a couple a couple of times and I had a pretty good experience. The shipment was sent so quickly and arrived to me really really fast. Never had a problem with return or anything, so I would I would highly recommend. I believe they are a Canadian website because my package came from Canada, but I'm going to make sure and and let you guys know. So the APC bag, they have this in many sizes. This is the Grace style. They have it in mini, which is this one. They have the small size, which looks more like this. And I think it's a much nicer size, but we're going to talk about it in a minute. And they have the regular size, which would be like a medium bag, mostly like the Celine box bag. So of course, this is a very easy style to wear because it's classic, it's not trendy, even though it's on trend right now, because I've been seeing a lot of these bags lately. It's still a style that will be there in 10 years, in 20 years, maybe forever, who knows? Unless we start wearing, I don't know, aluminum bags in like 50 years, but maybe I won't be here to see. I won't be doing YouTube reviews, or maybe I will. Anyways, so this bag is a cutie, of course it's a mini bag, not for everyone. If you're not a mini bag person, this isn't for you. I have other reviews that you will like more. But it's a good size if you just carry your essentials with you. I can fit my phone in here, I have the 13 Pro, it goes inside very easily and I'll open for you and I'll measure for you. So the first thing is a quick comparison with Milo. This is the side by side, like this, and like this. They're very similar, but because this one has a softer leather, it fits so much more. You can put a lot more things in here, and this is what it looks like. So when you open the bag, you know, you have this suede here on the front, like inside, and then you have a main compartment, which is lined in cotton. And then you have two pockets, one in the front, like slip pockets, and one in the back. That's it. There's no zipper, there's nothing going on. It's a very simple bag and I love that about it. But of course, because it's so structured and the leather is so resistant, it won't fit much, you know? It, it's not a supple leather, it's just a very structured leather. Very, very like workhorse. So I feel like this would be easily, you know, worn in the rain or if it's snowing or if it's too sunny. That's going to be a bag that's very easy if you are in one of these situations. One thing I love about it is the hardware. I think it's a great shade of gold. If you compare it to Milo, this is much lighter. It looks almost silver sometimes, while this one's more gold. But it's not as gold, for example, as my decorated bag. I actually have a review on it. This one's more of a opaque matte finish and this one is more of a shiny gold, shiny hardware. So you just open like this, very simple, and then you close the same way. On the sides you have a little bit more hardware, but it's it. Very minimalist, very simple. And the strap you can actually wear in two ways. This is adjustable. You cannot remove, but it is adjustable. You can wear this as a shoulder bag and you can wear this as a crossbody bag. It's actually super easy to attach and detach this. All you have to do is take this off and then the other side take it off as well. And then from here you just adjust until you find the next hole. Super simple, very easy, very practical. 
Of course, if the leather was a little bit um, softer and less structured, this would be even faster to do. But I actually like that about it because it makes it a very strong bag. As for the collar, I didn't know what it was going to be like. I thought it was going to be a more mauve collar, more like a pinkish undertone, at least for the pictures from the pictures that I saw on the website. But it's more of a purple. It's like a muted purple. Very pretty shade. It's just not exactly what I expected. As for the measurements, we have here as width, I'm going to sh show you in centimeters and inches. To my American friends and all friends all over the world, that's six and a half inches or 17 centimeters. 16 centimeters, more like, yeah, like 16 and a half. Then the height, the height is about six inches or 15 centimeters, like more like 14 and a half. And then for the depth right here, we have two inches, which is like four and a half centimeters. So again, it's a small bag and I'm gonna show you guys what fits now. So of course, because it's a mini bag, it's very compact. You cannot fit too much in there, but if you are the person who doesn't need to carry so much, this is going to fit all your essentials. So you can easily put your phone in here. You can carry your keys, your sunglasses, maybe a hand sanitizer. I would not recommend bringing a full-size wallet because I don't think the bag will fit. However, you can easily wear and bring a card holder or something more compact that will put all your credit cards inside and also cash. So because it has those two slip pockets, you can also use them to store your cards and your cash and then not bring a card holder. It's really up to you. I like carrying my card holder, but mine is very, very thin, very compact, so super easy to put really anywhere. So I love the bag. I think it's a very pretty style. Again, never goes out of style because of how simple, minimalist it is. I feel like this can be easily worn with jeans, with dress, with something more casual, with a t-shirt. If you go in just to run errands or if you go into a special event i think it's a beautiful bag and i really like the texture for this one specifically they have in smooth leather in so many colors so many but i thought this one was a very cute and special one so just a quick comparison i wanted to show you guys the curated bag next to it since they are a similar style they both remind me of the celine box bag same for the Mini Milo by Cezanne. I have a full review and I have a review on this one as well. This is the bottom. And I'll show you as well a mini bag that I have by YSL, which is the Lou camera bag, the Mini Lou. It is actually a little bit bigger and I'm showing you these because, because maybe you guys have one of these bags and I think it would be nice to have these as reference. So he's on the side and here is the bottom. But this one fits a lot more, like a lot, lot more. And the last one is the also YSL, the Lou camera bag. I thought it would be a nice style to compare sizing in case you have, because that's a very popular bag. And I know that many of you love YSL. I always get questions about YSL, both on Instagram and here on YouTube. So I thought it would be nice to do this quick comparison. So I really like it. I think it's a good price, especially if you get it on sale. This one I got from Essence and it cost $410 US dollars. And the bag retailed for over 700 because of this, the, this kind of leather. I believe the smooth leather has a different price. So they have this in three sizes, as I mentioned. I think they're all very versatile and really nice. But I thought the mini would be really cute to have and also the only size that was available in this color was the mini otherwise i would likely have gotten this small because i think it fits a lot more if you look at my Cezanne one you will see that it has so much more room and it just opens wide you know it has more compartments as well and a slip pocket in the back which to me is so so handy because whenever you need or you're in a, in a rush you can put something in here like your phone you can put your credit card or your ID or some cash and it's just very easy. So just my final thoughts. I think the bag is worth the money. It's an amazing structured leather. This one is embossed lizard 
and I think it's very special. It's a very durable leather, I can tell. But again, they have many, many other styles and many other colors and types of leather, which I think is so, so nice. This is a great option if you want the Celine box bag, but you're not sure if you don't have the budget for it. I would say you could easily go with one of these. It's still very expensive, but you're paying for something that will definitely be durable and will last so, so long. So to me, definitely worth the money. And just the fact that it's a style that's not trendy and you, you can simply wear in 10, 20 years, 30 years, maybe forever. <laughs> I think it's a great, great price to pay for. So let me know your thoughts. Would love to hear from you guys. Do you have any bags from APC? Um, if you do, let me know which ones you would recommend or which colors you like. Would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel for more videos. See you guys in my next one. Bye bye.